Hello there, welcome to my mini floss tube video, which is a, a video about my cross stitch. And I'm showing you here a cross stitch kit, which is called the Hidden Bridge. Isn't that lovely? And it's by John Clayton Miniatures. It's on 14 count Ada. So the Ada fabric, which is this fabric here, you can get 14 stitches per inch. That's what 14 counts means. And I'm stitching it with two strands of floss or thread. And they're lovely colours. If you can see my jumble of thread. Beautiful colours. There we go. Now I can sometimes I can stitch and sometimes I can't. And um, there are reasons for that. And if you want to know, um, you're welcome to check out my the other videos on this channel. Um, it's health stuff. But I really are want to want to keep the health stuff separate from my stitching as much as I can. Well, from my floss tubes anyway. So I'm actually really enjoying this little pattern. It's not going to take too long, hopefully. It's quite small and um, it's fairly easy. There's a bit of confetti stitching, which means lots of different colours dotted about, which is quite difficult sometimes. And it does have a few complicated stitches in that it has squat stitches, which are two crosses in each hole, in each like little set of holes, one cross on top of the other. I don't know if I can show the, the room. I've already done some. Yeah, OK. Can you see those stitches? That there, that sort of line of yellowy colour. Those are the those are squat stitches. Now in the, those ones, I'm going to squash another set of stitches. So that's like the half lot of squat st stitches. So that's it. Makes it interesting. Makes it interesting to stitch these things. I do cross country stitching, which means that I I'm not just stitching one block and then moving on to the next block and then on to the next block. I'm actually like wandering with my stitches. They're like going cross country like this because it's a full coverage piece. So it means every stitch will be stitched in this square that I have that I've, I've these blue threads. That will be that's to help me navigate because um, I can't work out where the stitches go. Otherwise, not everybody does that. They don't always grid their fabric, but I do. I have to. Um, and the other stitches, they have some stitches which are used to separate colours, two different colours. Usually you'd just stitch with one colour for using two, two threads of one colour. See, that's got two threads in it. But this has stitches of two different colours. So I would have two different colour threads like that and stitch with that also does have some half stitches or um, fractional stitches where you only stitch half the little box um, or you stitch the whole box but in two halves of different colors if you understand me um, but that's what that is so that's one of my little um, projects I'm doing I'm really really loving it if you've never tried cross stitch give it a go because I wish I tried it so much earlier in my life it is so therapeutic it's interesting and fun and it's not that difficult if you choose the right pattern it's not that difficult at all and you get a fantastic result you don't have to be particularly good at it to get a really good result Do you know what I mean I mean I'm a messy stitcher but I can when this is finished it will look like that if you can learn to like follow a pattern, then it's really worth giving a go. Honestly, really give it a go. It's it's wonderful. So it's fairly inexpensive as well. You can get cheap patterns and cheap thread and cheap fabric. You can buy the kit. So everything is there. You can start off with like really titchy tiny ones. They re it's really worth a go. Anyway, thanks for watching this and I'll see you in my next floss tube video. Bye.